Hi everyone, welcome back to more of the valley. That is my favorite section. Uh, such a good section, the rail, the rail, rails or something. So this should lead to the reactor. Soma Cargo Bay. Alright. Run on the rails. Jump again. up here. Oh, there is. Right here. I knew there was at least something. One or two. That is nothing. I think one of these, you've actually got to go in reverse. I don't know if there's anything up there. Okay. Let's try this. Yeah, I don't don't think there's anything up there to be honest. There's one of these. One of these bigger, I think it's the next one.
Ah, so good. Oh, I love those jump scenes. Those little jump sections. Ooh, damn. Yeah, there was one down there. Yeah, all those little swarms. Oh yeah. Fantastic. That's such a well done section. That is my favorite section of this game. And of course there's a bunch to explore and I know there's at least one or two of those discs in that area for the pyramid. But it's just so difficult not to just run straight through. Note from a worker. Whoever these people were that once lived in this valley sure went through a lot of trouble carving out all these giant colossi everywhere. Even these tunnels must have been pretty important to them. Digging out passages through the middle of the mountain ain't easy. Uh, I already want to go back and do that section. I just love those jumps. You just leap over and fly through the air. Yeah, there's at least one or two of those discs. And maybe an upgrade somewhere in that tunnel. But it's just a large area to explore. success. The explosion yielded 20 kilotons of TNT energy. I know I can outmatch this at greater efficiency, but time is running out. I am ordering a 300% increase in production to meet quotas for a megaton blast yield produced in three days time. But of course, our trump card lies in the Thanatos cannon prototype under development. Its power, unlike anything Oppenheimer could possibly fathom. With this technology, we'll become the closest thing to gods the world has ever seen! Wow, he does not like Oppenheimer. I mean, why would you want to be known for creating the most destructive weapon on the planet? Big red button. 
The strain we've been putting on this reactor is beyond safe limits. Even since the ramp up, I feel like I'm risking my life by coming down here for the daily pressure checks. We had better finish up soon. I don't know how much more the reactor can take. Oh, that giant door. Anything over here? Up there. How do you get up there? Nothing. Giant reactor. Right. This huge thing? How is it still active after all these years? No goodies, no goodies. Fisher is all but ignoring any of my pleas to slow down what they're doing to the valley. We're speeding blindly past the point of no return. Edwin can see it too. The animals have all vanished or died off. The trees are withering away. Even those Emrigis swarms have become incredibly aggressive. And the damage. What will happen to them? With word coming in over broadcast of victory in Europe. What's the point? Thankfully, this mountain is riddled with tunnels and caverns already carved by either the ancient inhabitants here or through natural geolo geological events. Otherwise, getting the reactor down here would have taken us years. If this thing ever destabilizes, it can hopefully be contained under the massive weight of the mountain. Sweet. Huge. Okay, not seeing any more goodies. Okay, time to go up. I think I need to go this way. That, okay, I was about to say that may have been a mistake, but I made it. Ooh, I'm starting to slide. Nothing over here. I think this is where that kind of rails came in handy because I think it's trying to show you to do this. I think. Oh, 
There we go. The Life Seed's ability to amplify energy is incredibly dangerous. If energy passes through too quickly, it will amplify at an exponential rate uncontainable by our conductors and thermal chemical reserves. To ensure we do not blow out the energy conduit or the energy circuit, we must mitigate a restricted amount of Amrita to pass through at any given time. Typically, only one passes through is all that the con conductors can handle before the energy becomes too immense to possibly contain, reaching upwards of a full pedigree. Hmm. That's a lot of energy. I think that's right beyond a gigawatt. A petajoule, I think. Or a gigajoule, I don't really know. Big red button. Big red button. I always reminds me of Doctor Who. Why can't things just have a big red button? I think we're in trouble. And there's the life seed. There we go. That's the life seed. Ooh, we messed up. We messed up. The life seed amplifies inner, any any energy that passes through it. Okay. Does that really affect me? Warning. Solar reactor deactivated. Fuel leak after has been disrupted. All area 634 occupants are in danger of light extraction. Please suspend extra operations immediately. Escape from the Soma facility. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I think I go back out this way. I think crap. Can I press it? Ooh, I don't remember how to get out. Shit, you know, I may not have needed to jump down. Okay. I see the door. They had big flashing red lights on it. I was not paying attention. The second facility built within the valley, named Astra, works in unison with Soma. The Valley's orbs are harvested at the Astra facility, which then cycles through the Soma reactor to be amplified and returned to Astra for weapon creation. The two facilities are interdependent on each other, like yin and yang, to maintain a balance. I'm not sure where to go. I know we need to get to the Astra facility, but first things first. Early. There we go. Just follow the lights. Oh, damn it. It's those things. Those things are a bit dangerous. Yeah, those things are a bit frightening. Pendulum's bomb relies on Astra's link with Soma. The Astra re 
extractor pulls in energy, typically from orbs, to deliver to Soma, while the Soma reactor amplifies the energy and sends it back to the Astra for weapon creation. Yep, and that was uh, one of the weapons they created. That weird creature with the light. Oh, damn, I forgot. <laughs> but I cannot go into water. Oops. So I was going to go down and check those tunnels. got the red eyes it knows. As a precaution, we cannot allow Astra to operate without a link to Soma. Otherwise, it will pull energy indiscriminately until it has robbed life from the entire valley or even the entire planet. There should be enough energy within Soma's auxiliary reserves to sustain the link for years. However, if the link to Soma is ever disrupted, Astra will need to be shut down immediately. Astro will keep sucking life into it without Soma. Yeah. Damn, I just want a quick screenshot without all this stuff. Oh well, screw it. That's quite beautiful. I like that with the aura, the color of the sky and the moon. Oh, yeah. Should really bring some of you back to life. Okay. I just had a brain fart on which button it was. And I think it's because it's really far away too. I think that was the problem. Bring you back to life. Little bunny. Ah, I know it. I do that orange light. I was like, I bet that's an enemy. I don't think that's just a simple lantern. They won't listen. The energy they're demanding from the valley is far outpacing whatever can be produced from the orbs. It's killing this place. And we'll lose it forever if we don't do something. Edwin may try to stop me. I'll no doubt be charged with treason if I'm caught. Maybe even executed. But this is larger than me. This valley... 
it could very well change the world. I have to save it before it's lost forever. Well, it's quite possible. Maybe she got her uh, military buddy to help her out. Or Air Force, whatever he was. Finally, we got full valley health. Little buddy's just roaming around. Oh, in this place. I did not get a screenshot in time. It's alright. There's more of them. Like this was probably my least favorite area of the game is because it's just overloaded with enemies. At least from what I remember. And those enemies, they sneak up on you and I think they even respawn. So it's like you don't just eliminate them and they're gone for good. They like keep coming back, I think. And it's also a bit of a maze. Perfect. Where did these creatures come from? Now, if you haven't noticed already by their look, you should probably already know what they are and how they became that way. I've already kind of shown it. Alright, it serves me no purpose. Oop, there's one right here. Should have gotten a good look at that one. Oh yeah, I get a magnetic thing that allow me to go up this. Magnetic boots. There's another one right up here. Get rid of you. Perfect, filled up. <laughs> Nothing back here but scrap parts. Oh, 
was wondering why everything was dying so quickly. I forgot about that. I was like, I know I didn't die that much. Damn. Oh, there's one up there. I saw you. Where'd you go? <clears throat> Damn. Cannot seem to get that one. It's not really important. See, and I think there's one out there too in that plane crash, but you can't get that until you can walk on water. That's an upgrade that comes a little later on. There's one up there. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. I'm trying to remember where the hell you need to go. Don't think I go down there just yet. Okay, let's explore around here more before I go down there. Oh, that was a freaking glitch in the rendering. Let's go up here. The isolation policy here is pretty damn extreme. I haven't had any communication with my family in months. For some of the guys, it's been years. How is my wife doing? Are my parents in good health? Did my brother ever get sent off to, to Europe? I can't wait until this is all over. Alright, two acorns. Bad guys, bad guys. Okay, no bad guys. I miss the winter months up here. Nothing beats running on the snow with these sh snowshoe attachments on my leaf suit. Sliding down hills, gliding on ice, and just sitting back to watch the daemons chase snowflakes are some of my favorite memories of this place. The leaf suit Mark I proved successful in its capacity to manipulate Amrita energy on a small mobile scale. The Mark II saw the addition of pilot Amrita infusion and strong protective plating to the thighs. Mark III research and development is still underway.
I think we almost have enough medallions to get into the ancient pyramid near Astra. Word has it the Raptor Squad is picking up pace, so we need to work fast. Great job out there today. You smoked those raptors, <laughs> raptor goons on the timing run. Keep it up, buddy. Edwin Hall to Private Gregory. The Soma and Astra facility are held in a delicate balance. While Astra takes, Soma gives. The two are interlocked with each other, kind of like yin and yang. In order to produce bombs, we need an external source of energy to inject into the system to pass through the life seed acting as an amplifier and output it as weapon grade fuel. I have to admit, I'm a little afraid to be working with such a delicate and dangerous system, but I'm certain the bombs we're building out, out of it will put an immediate end to the wa warfare forever. Yeah, no it doesn't. Because the other side will get a hold of the technology and just forever at a stalemate. David Hopkins. James Howell. Victor Gray. And Ida Graves. Edwins reluctantly agreed to help. If only to make sure nothing happens to me. One of his squad mates mentioned to him a weapon being built at Astra. Some sort of cannon. We should be able to use it to destroy Astra beyond reparation. Enough to shut down this project. Unfortunately, everyone is working round the clock with the increase in production, so... We'll need to pull an alarm to get everyone out. We can then sneak into Astra through the underground tram tunnel that connects the two sites. No one should get hurt. Or hopefully caught. To whomever may find this recording, please understand that Fisher has strayed beyond reason. If we don't put a stop to this madness, they could destroy this valley. And with power like this, maybe even the world. If we failed, please do whatever it takes to stop them before it's too late. <clears throat> yeah, Fisher's gone crazy. Clay pottery, ornate designs, indicative of fine wear. The sprites or daemons of this valley are so incredibly friendly and fearless. They remind me of dodo birds. I hope these little guys don't face the same fate as a result of their naivety. I've not heard that word before. Stone door. Possible Wendigo depiction. Possible depiction of World Turtle. Nothing on the column. They don't know what that is. Virginia's office. Oh, and there's her and her little buddy. As much as I love this valley, the thought of returning home with Edwin makes me so happy. From Edwin Hall to Virginia King. I think you're insane for doing this, but I don't think I can stop you. The best way to do this tomorrow night best way to do this tomorrow night during the guard shift switch. No matter what, we cannot allow ourselves to get caught. Um, yeah, you'd probably be executed. But again, it does need to happen. Because they are destroying the valley. Please be cautious when traveling through the utility tunnels. Listen and watch for possible signs of collapse. The low bearing beams appear to be warping under the stress of the mountain weight. Crews will be sent out weekly to monitor the tunnel's integrity.
See, you keep undoing it. Leave it alone. Have I already been in there? Yes, I have. Okay. There we go. Come on. Let's fix some of these trees. There we go. Uh, try to undo some of the damage as we go. There we go. I can't believe we're ramping up production. This seems suicidal. I hope they know what they are doing. I think we're going to end up killing everything in this valley. don't remember who turned them in. Yeah, I don't remember the specific details of who ratted who out. Colonel McDavid. This is from Private Sparks. McDavid ordered me to run laps around the barracks for sleeping on duty again. That guy's a real pain if you ask me. Everyone was watching so I tried to play it cool and pretend I was running around the barracks by choice. It seemed to be working until I vomited. Yeah, no thank you. You should not be running until you vomit. And if I remember correctly, it's not that big of a deal because there's that one thing with the statue. There we go. Perfect. Alright, that one thing with the statue in the ground, I did want to explore, but I don't think we do that just yet. Because I think we come back to this area, I'm pretty sure. Because we have to go back to that other area once we have the boots to run on water and be able to climb a metal siding. Metallic boots. Please be on alert for any suspicious activity. With the recent revelations of espionage within our ranks, utmost precaution must be practiced. This is from a lieutenant. 
Private Lenny Watts has been reprimanded for conspiring to waste valuable resources and manpower to produce an ice rink. He will be cleaning cafeteria dishes for the next four weeks. It is not yet known who else was involved. Uh, that's kind of funny. Cell block A. From Edwin Hall, I claim responsibility for the sabotage attempt. Virginia King had no role or knowledge of my plan to damage the Astra facility. I deceived her into coming with me to ensure her safety. Please release her from custody. Okay. To whoever may find this, please stop Pendulum at all costs. Andrew Fisher has gone mad and won't stop short of harming this planet to satisfy his pride. Do anything you can to disrupt this project before they destroy the entire valley. There's nothing I can do now. little goodies down there I don't know why there's a music box I'm a little confused unless there's gonna be something else like it's a gift from Edward or something like that oh Edwin Hall Pathfinder private first class conceded guilt is regarded to sabotage attempt conceded guilt in regards to sabotage attempt Claims full responsibility and denies Virginia King's involvement. Denial of espionage or collusion with foreign governments. Okay. Uh, Private Matthews, a soldier from the Pathfinder Div Division has come forward with suspicions that Private First Class Edwin Hall may be attempting to sabotage Area 634 operations. He claims to have dis disclosed he claims to have disclosed a method to destroying both facilities at once using a weapon devised at, S at Astra. Unaware of Hall's attempt, fearful of the consequences due, due to his complacency, he has come forward with his startling information. Aside from his word, however, we have no evidence to corroborate his allegations. Private Matthews. He's the one who ratted them out. July 29th, 1945. Interrogating suspects involved in the attempted sabotage. Listen, just be upfront with us. Are you Soviet spies? No! For the last time, this has nothing to do with politics. All right, all right, calm down. Just tell us your reasons. You know how insane Fisher has become. He's willing to destroy this entire valley to... What the hell was that? I'll be worried about that fisher. Be willing to bet Fisher unleashed his, unleashed his weapons on the facility. Private Matthews, I suspect my squad mate Edwin Hall may be plotting some sort of method to use the weapon being built at Astra to stir up some trouble. He keeps asking me questions, though I don't know much about it. I see him wandering through Astra every now and then even though the sector isn't part of his patrol. I've known him for some time now, but the way he's been acting lately has me on edge. Hmm. 
Okay. Now I think we go down here. Ooh, there's a couple of them. They've already spotted me. That's the good thing about this little weapon thing you have where you can shoot stuff. Is it goes really far. There's another one. But, oh, it's up there. Okay. There we go. Let's just do a quick look real quick. I know this area is pretty big, but I don't think there was much really far out. And you can really run off in the distance quite far before the game will start to glitch out. And I don't recall there being anything up here. Nope, there wasn't. Let's hit you. Oh, I freaking knew it. The fact that they gave me so many generators, I was like, I bet I'm about to be attacked. All those pretty easily. There we go, run along ma magnetic wall surfaces. Private Hendricks, I'm providing your squad with a newly devised magnetic core for your leaf suit so that you may test its limitations. Take your squad to the train loading dock connecting to the tram tunnel. It should prove an ample testing ground for this latest upgrade. Report back by the end of the day tomorrow. There we go. Such a weird, strange mechanic. I mean, they did it in Zelda. I think in Twilight Princess? Was that the first time they did that? Because I know the Ocarina of Time had the metal boots, but I don't know if they had the mag thing yet. It's been a while since I've played that. We get another vessel. A canister. The only thing it is a bit janky. Running on this metal wall.
Again. Quit undoing it. Oh, I didn't take it. There we go. Damn, I'm missing this one. There we go. There we go. We are back. See, and they're freaking back. Seriously? I can't bring these back to life? Those damn pathfinders keep getting in the way of our loading. The way they run around on these walls, training for who knows what. They think they own the place. Well, I have a job to do and I'll be damned if these brash young men put me behind schedule. Okay. Okay. Like where to next? Ear protection, foot protection, hand protection. Ooh, okay. Kind of messed up that jump a little bit. But it worked out. Ooh, damn. No, no, go away. Go away. That's what I hated about this area is it's such a maze. It's hard to know where you need to go. Ooh, there's one up there. Perfect. A member of the Pathfinder Division and an on-site anthropologist have been exposed as traitors. During a covert attempt to destroy Astra, security personnel caught the culprits amid the act and placed them under arrest. It was Edwin Hall of Virginia, Virginia King.
Sweet, and this will be a perfect stopping point. All right, thanks for joining me. We will pick this up on our way to the Astro Weapons Facility. So, see you next time.